We are back with some more lighting experiments, testing out these T8 shop lights versus these T8 grow lights. So stay tuned for the video. Okay guys, we are back, like I said, with more lighting experiments, testing out these T8 shop lights that we previously compared against our T5 shop lights. Now for this grow, what we did is we actually compared them against our T8 blurples, which are actually supposed to be grow lights and we're gonna see how they performed against these, knowing that they are not actually grow lights, they are just meant to be shop lights. So let's go ahead and quickly talk about each one of these lights in a little bit more detail. These T8 shop lights are exactly that, they're T8 shop lights, they are 40 watts a piece, they are at 5,000K for their temperature, we are running three of them, and they cost about $13.31 a piece, meaning it's about $40 to run uh, all three of these lights on this shelf. The PAR output for these lights is very, very high compared to the other lights at about 150 to 230, depending on where we position the meter. Each one of these lights draws 39 watts and 0.34 amps, meaning it takes a total of 24 cents per day to run all three of the lights. Now we are going to compare them against these Barina T8 Blurple lights. So same company, same T8, except these are meant to be grow lights and they're a little bit stronger. So each one of these lights are 42 watts a piece. The color spectrum is blurple or full spectrum and the cost for each one of these lights is $16.67 a piece meaning it's $50.01 to have all three of these lights on the shelf and the power output is significantly lower at 119 to 136 depending on where the power meter is positioned on the shelf. Each one of the lights draws 41 watts a piece actual and 0.35 amps meaning it is 25 cents per day to run all three of these lights. So it's one penny cheaper per day to run all these lights. Okay, so we are doing the crop of turnip and this has now been in the light for four full days. I'm beginning to see true leaves on these. If you come over here, you can see just this tiniest little development right here, right in the middle. That is our true leaf, which means that these are ready for harvest. In the past videos, I keep letting these go too long. So I don't want that mistake to happen again. So we are gonna get these pulled off the shelf right now. Now you'll notice the two that I just pulled out of the blurple lights have a little label on the front, a little red label, and this is so that I don't get these mixed up since all of the trays are pink. So those two have red labels and these two do not. Now these are the ones that were in our T8 shop lights and the ones with the red again were the ones that were in the blurple. So let's go ahead and check out the overall growth knowing that these have been in the lights for four full days. Let's see what these actually look like now. So one thing I gotta say is underneath the blurples, it's really hard to see what they actually look at like until you get them into some normal light. And taking a look at these, they actually look really, really nice. I'm kinda using my hand here to block a lot of that purple light. And in fact, give me one second, I'm gonna turn off this blurple so that we don't get some crazy coloration here that doesn't exist. So looking at the cotyledons, I'm very happy with the overall growth and size of them. They look very healthy. Um, I am very happy with this crop overall. It looks very uniform. Uh, the coloration I'm noticing is some that do have a little bit of an ombre going on where it starts a little bit lighter towards the middle of the cotyledon and then it gets a little bit darker as it goes outwards. But that is pretty minute throughout this entire tray. Overall, I'm very happy with it. I think that we have some great chew leaves coming in and the growth does look even across both of these trays. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the T8 shop lights. So at first glance, I noticed that this one is slightly higher than the other tray, which I would guess that this tray was on the end. And you can kind of see that happening on this blurple one right here too, where it's a little bit taller on this side. Generally, this tells me that this was the one that was closest to the wall that had less light. So it's usually the one that's positioned towards the side of the shelf that gets a little bit less light. So these ones on this edge just tend to try to stretch towards that light just a little bit more than the ones that get sufficient light. So again, for the shop lights, both of these are the shop lights right here. And I'm noticing this one has a little bit more of that uh, kind of leaning. So this is probably my edge. And overall, very happy with the growth on this. Our cotyledons look very healthy. I am seeing true leaf as well. So we reached true leaf on both of these. The coloration is really nice. I am noticing some that are different colors, some that are a little bit lighter, some that are a little bit darker. So I'm kind of noticing the same thing that I saw on my blurples with a little bit of that ombre going on on some of these. And overall, I'm very happy with the growth. Looking at these side by side, I think but that both of these groups actually look quite even in their growth. And overall, it's really hard to see any kind of difference at first glance between these, other than the ones you can see that stretched a little bit more towards the edge. In fact, I'm gonna do something real quick. 
So these two were probably our outside groups and these two were probably our inside groups. I just want to look really close at these. So you can see how the mounding is a little bit more uniform. We don't have one side that's like crazy high. That tells me that these were the ones that were on the inside of the light. And looking at these both side by side, I actually feel like the blurples have a little bit more mounding to them. But overall, again, the growth is so comparable that I'm not noticing any major differences. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to harvest all four of these trays. We will talk about the harvest weight on them, take a closer look at the appearance. Maybe there's gonna be something on the stems that tells us some kind of difference between these. And then we will also do a taste test. I will see you guys in just a moment once I have harvested all four of these trays. I have finished harvesting all four of the trays, but before we get into the harvest weight, if you guys wouldn't mind, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button as it really does help out our YouTube channel. And if you guys are feeling extra generous, be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bells. That way you guys get notified whenever new videos come out. Now let's go ahead and discuss the harvest weights for each one of these groups. Let me pull out my handy dandy phone because I have my harvest weights on there. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and now discuss the harvest weights. So as for the T8 Blurple group, we had one tray that had 151 grams and the other tray had a harvest weight of 164 grams. As for the T8 shop lights, we had a tray that had 155 grams and a tray that had 167 grams. So the margins were very close between the two of these. One tray was ahead by four grams and the other tray was ahead by three grams. So the overall winner for harvest weight for this experiment is the T8 shop lights and not the blurple lights. So that is actually pretty cool seeing that the shop lights have actually beat the grow lights at something. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the appearance of both of these groups. So taking a look at these, this one right here is our blurples and this group right here is our T8 shop lights. Now I mixed a little bit from both groups into these. So let's go ahead and start on the blurples. Looking at these, I'm very happy with the stem coloration, the cotyledons. I mean, these aren't like uh, purple sprouting broccoli or anything. So there's not a whole lot of colors outside of the the white kind of creamy color that goes up into the nice green cotyledon. I would say that these are a little bit lighter than what I would like. I'd love to see a little bit more darkness in the cotyledons, but that just might be how these purple uh, top white globe turn up grow. And overall, I am very happy with the appearance on this group. Looking at these side by side, there is very, very, very little difference, if any difference at all. So again, looking at the shop lights now, same thing, that nice white creamy stem that goes up into a beautiful green cotyledon that does look like the same way that I'd like to have it just a hair darker if possible. Um, maybe like a nutrient like maxi grow or something where it's a little bit more full of a nutrient would help with that. But overall, again, these look very comparable. And if I set these literally side by side, it would be hard to say which one is which without me having known which group was which one. All right, now it's time to choose an overall winner for appearance. And like I said, since there were so many similarities between these two groups, I think that there's actually gonna be no winner for this and this is gonna be a draw on the appearance. Now we're moving into the last stage, which is a taste test. Normally in the past, I do a blind taste test, but because it takes so incredibly long, I'm just gonna taste some from each one of these groups and I'm gonna do my best to remain unbiased and let you guys know what the flavor's like. So I'll see you guys in just a moment once I've tasted both of these. All right, so I have tasted both of these groups and now my unbiased opinion. So for the T8 Blurples, I'm actually gonna choose them as the winner for this experiment because they were a little bit softer than the T8 Shop Lights. I found that the T8 Shop Lights were actually just a little bit too chewy. They were very um, woody in their stem and it felt like it took a lot more effort to get them down. And I will also say that there was a little bit less flavor on the T8 Shop Lights compared to the Blurples. As for the flavor, there was almost like a mustardy taste to it with a nice brassica flavor as well. And overall, I think that the winner for this taste test is the T8 Blurples. So let's quickly recap everything. The winner for Harvest Weight was the T8 Shop Lights. The winner for Appearance was Nobody. There was actually a draw. And the winner for Flavor was the T8 Blurples. So overall for this experiment, it was a little bit of a draw because the T8 Shop Lights gave us a higher harvest weight, whereas the T8 Blurples did give us a much better flavor. And the harvest weight was actually only like three or four grams behind, so it really wasn't much of a difference at all. Now they did cost an extra like penny per day to run, so overall it was an extra four cents to use these blurples compared to the shop lights. But I think that overall for that extra four cents to have a better flavor and a better product in the end that's more enjoyable 
For eating, I would go with the Blurples. Between these two groups though, I would be very happy to eat either one of these. I think that they both had a great taste and I am very happy with the growth that both of these performed. So overall, I think that both of these are winners in my opinion. That is it for this experiment. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We'd love to get those answered for you as soon as we possibly can. Our Instagram and our Facebook are both at Farms, and our website is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you so much, have a great day, and keep on believing.